Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to do another video for the HHDH3. This is going to be for the little, uh, I'll do the jumping car portion here, and then we'll also try to include the tank portion to get a two videos here together for the dry ground driving portions of the three-in-one car tank and drone. I'd reviewed the tank, uh, excuse me, I reviewed the drone in a previous video and it was actually quite good but I have low expectations on these ground portions. I think the drone may be the strong point of this three-in-one. I did a little test of this indoors. It has a springing mechanism that's motorized and it plugs in right here when you press it together. I'll see if I could pull it out here and show you guys what I mean. It, pl it plugs in right here and we're getting some better light. And if you don't hit the ground with the, the mechanism here, it disengages and unplugs itself every time. So you got to pick it back up. I've only been able to get it to jump one time indoors. We'll see how it does out here on the concrete. Maybe on the slope going uphill, it'll fall back. It has to fall back and hit to jump. It actually drives pretty good though, but it, you know, it flips itself over as a lot of these little two you know, you know, wheel cars do like the Parrot Jet, which I reviewed. You know a couple of years ago which is actually quite nice so it was only app controlled where this is controlled by uh you know uh, the controller and app but when it flips itself over then your throttle reverses so reverse goes forward and forward goes backwards which is obviously also quite confusing so i have it connected to the wi-fi fpv so i'll include a little footage from the ground you know for the same you know little camera make sure it's pointed all the way up over we've just filming the ground. And it may be anyway, the way this thing tilts. We'll have to see how that works on the ground. So we'll take it out now and see if we can get it to jump and drive it around here. This probably won't be too long, this portion, because I'm not too optimistic about this jumping car. So let's set it down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start recording some video. I'll just use the app to start. And let's go ahead and drive it around here and see what we can get. So you're just going to use the right stick, as you can see here. The right stick does everything. Your left stick does nothing. This button here will do the jumping. This just turns your lights on and off. See, now it's flipped itself, and down is forward because it flipped itself, and, and up is backwards. So now we got the camera pointed up to the sky. Now it's pointed to the ground. So, and now it's stuck on itself, which it did this to me inside too. So yeah, this, this, I can already tell this thing is not good. Um, a kid might like just drive it around, but the app here with the video is pointless. See, now it's, now it's going to be caught again on, it's, it's caught upside, you know, straight up again. I can't, it's ridiculous. Let's see if it'll, if it'll jump. Here's the jumping mechanism here. Let's go ahead and press that. And it did jump because it fell back. So going up this driveway, I think it's actually going to work. The jumping's kind of cool. I mean, it's like the Parrot Jumping Jet does the same thing. I think that one jumps farther. So it's working quite well here with the incline on a... Let's take it over where it's level, because that's where I had, on a level service, I had trouble getting it just to fall back. So now I have to push down on my throttle to go forward, because it slipped itself over. Let's get it. This is pretty level here. Now when it's upside down like this, you know, that's actually the upside down where it's reversed. You can't do the jumping because it's just going to try to jump up into the air now I'm gonna try here and I'll show you guys how this thing unplugs itself let's uh, do the uh, jump it may work it's falling back still indoors I can't get it to I think it, this is still sloped here downwards so that's why it's falling back let me try flipping it around and see this way see it's not and it doesn't do anything and now look, well it actually stayed it plugged in. That's surprising. Every time I did it indoors, it unplugged itself. Let's take it out here in the street. They said a runtime and this is a half an hour for this and the tank. Which I believe, I mean it's not gonna use too much power. I 
I mean, I can see, and the way it, wa you know, the way it spins like this is pretty neat. I can definitely see a kid liking this portion if they're not worried about the camera. So they're gonna get frust uh, frustrated when something like this happens or when it doesn't want to jump and it disengages itself. Let's see, again, if I can, it's, it's not terribly slow. It's not fast by any means. Let's see again if I can get it to, you know, do the, it's, now see there it whiffed. Remarkably, it's staying plugged in. Every time I did this indoors, it would unplug itself. And what I mean by that again is it will actually, this will come unplugged as it tries to push off, it misses, and just the uh, momentum from doing that will unplug it. So keep that in mind, even though it hasn't done it here, it's gonna do it. It did it over and over inside. It could be something to do with the slope of the concrete outside here that's uh, just enough to keep it from unplugging itself. I don't know why. Or maybe I just got lucky and pressed it in a lot harder. <laughs> I don't know. So there it's upside down and obviously you can't do anything there. You press it, it's just gonna and obviously it is staying plugged in, so that is weird <laughs> because every time indoors it unplugged itself. And at first I didn't know what happened. I thought, well, geez, did it break after one use? And then I realized that it unplugged itself. But if you have any kind of incline, that's going to be ideal if we're going up the hill because then it falls back and does jump really well. But on a level surface, it doesn't always want to do it. And it looks pretty silly when it gets turned around like that. You know, there it looks better with it upright. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video. We don't need any more video because I don't know how much good this is even gonna be for you guys because, uh, I can get it stopped now. I had another notice on my phone. Um, the camera is pretty much useless on this ground vehicle because you're getting flipped upside down, you're pointing to the ground, you're pointing to the sky. Um, so you're really not going to get good footage at all with this, uh, this particular uh, formation or whatever you want to call it of this car. Um, I think it'll be okay on the tank because the tank is just going to stay upright, move forward. You actually might get some decent FPV footage on the tank. And we'll go to the tank here shortly and do a quick little video with it. Um, I don't know if it has any kind of gimmick, so to speak, on the tank. I don't think so. Where this obviously has a jumping. Uh, but I would say if you're getting, you know, if you're interested in this toy, the drone is really good. This part here is pretty junky. It's not very good. Um, I'm not happy with this portion. Even though the jumping has worked decently well outside, it didn't work at all, all, at all for me on the carpet. And maybe there's something to do with the carpet because it actually is falling back and working. So I'd say on a, fl a flat, well, it doesn't have to be flat, you know, level, um, an incline works best, but outside or on a slick floor, it seems to work better. On carpet, I had no success at all. I think because the wheels maybe didn't want to let the car fall back because of the thick carpet I was on and it just didn't it didn't work at all and then it disengages itself uh, over and over again from the the plug which it hasn't done out here but I just not it's just it's not especially for an adult I mean it's not it's not much fun this part isn't so we'll see how the tank works um, you know if you, if, if, if you get this on a good deal it's obviously neat that it can transform a kid's certainly gonna like that just don't expect them to be super happy with this portion even though it is working better for me right now than it did indoors all right there's not much else to show you guys on this thing it's just gonna fly around flip itself up upside down and right side up and then of course if it does work right it'll jump which is actually is doing pretty good there right. so we'll be right back I'm going to uh, swap batteries just make sure we have a fresh one because it comes with two and we'll uh, do the tank portion and see if it's any better it ought to be I don't expect this to be very quick. We'll see if it has any power. I don't know if it can even go through this grass. And we'll see about the camera on the tank. Um, it ought to be okay on the tank since you're just pointing forward. You can also see 
this flipping over has really scuffed up the camera, but it doesn't look like it's, it's hit that little pinhole camera lens in there at least but it's scuffed up the nose really bad but again we'll see how it works with the tank i think the tank will be a little better f than this car especially for the camera footage all right guys so i'll be right back all right guys so let's take the tank portion out now for its driver view for the hhd h3 i just did the balancing car and obviously the camera and everything was getting all scuffed up on the front i don't think it actually affected the lens but We'll see how it works. The camera should at least serve a purpose on the tank portion where it was pretty much useless on the bouncing car. But a little test run I did with this, this thing does not want to move. It keeps stopping itself, especially when going downhill. It's really bad. Um, we'll see if I have any better luck with this particular run here. But uh, I got to say, it looks it's looking to me like the drone is only really decent portion of this three-in-one package only thing really worth messing with but we'll see maybe we'll have better luck this time with the tank but i doubt it so i've got the app connected and at least the camera will serve a purpose as i said on this actual portion so i'm gonna go ahead and start recording video and recording and again you just use the right stick and there there it's going a little better than i had earlier it kept stopping on me. You can see a little bit there. Seems to be working better this time. It could be, you see it's doing it there now. It was worse a while ago. I've swapped batteries. Maybe the other battery was getting a little low. See, it's constantly stopping, but not as bad as my test run, which I, you guys have to take my word for. I'm just holding the controller up in the air because I don't really care about the FPV feed. I'll take a look at it here, but it it has a little wobble from the tracks, the vibration. Yeah, it's working better. <laughs> I tell you what, man, my, my test stuff, I use like the test things at a time. Last few days I test something and then I take it out and do the review and it works better the next time. It's still, I'm still not impressed, but it's working better. It was just constantly stopping a while ago. And uh, like it's doing now, but like, you know, three times as bad. So I gotta say, if it's gonna work like this, this is certainly much more acceptable. It was just, a while ago, it was just, it was just constant. Maybe that battery, I forgot to swap in a fresh battery. But they advertised drive times 30 minutes on the hop, you know, there's both of these. And I was, I only drove the hot dropping car for probably 10 minutes. I was doing like that. Yeah, like that, but much worse. But maybe just a little extra juice with a fresh pack. is just giving those motors a little more power. And that could be why. So if that's the case, I expect that this thing could really start to get bad the longer you drive it. If that is the case, that it's the battery. And that's the only thing that I changed. I didn't disassemble it and replug it in or anything you know it wasn't a, a bad connection so yeah it's going okay this is definitely probably the second best portion after the drum because the, the balancing car just was not easy to use and indoors on carpet anything anything where the wheels can't roll back it won't jump and then it kept you know disengaging the plug as I you know, it kept on plugging itself, but it didn't do it outside. <laughs> Let's see if it has any power to go through this grass. I'd say no way. Ugh. Yeah. It made it farther than I thought it would. A tank type system like this should be able to go through grass, even on a 1S. But boy, it's, it's struggling. I didn't think it'd even go at all, so that's better than I thought, but no, it's not. That's, that's still bad. <laughs> so it's just, you know, I'm just I'm gonna have to pick it up. It's, we'll set it down for one more moment and then we'll be done with this because um, this is gonna be an extremely boring review for you guys. I mean, look at this thing, and now look what it's doing. It's doing that jerking and yeah, I mean, this is terrible. Look at this now. Now, this is what it was doing a while ago. Maybe that battery voltage has dropped a little more. I don't know. Now it's going. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording so that we got some footage saved. At least the camera serves a purpose in this form factor. But yeah, I mean, for an adult, this kid is not gonna be appealing. This little car, this little tank and the jumping car is not any good. If you want a jumping car, get the Parrot Jumping Jet. It, it, it works really well, even though it's just app controlled. This is rather slow, but it's just too jerky. Has almost no power. Um, the jumping car is also not very good. Um, I'd say this is probably a little better than the jumping car, but that's subjective. Someone else might think the car is better. The drone is by far and away the best part of this kit. If you could get this kit, you know, on clearance somewhere, dirt cheap, you know, for 30 bucks or something, maybe it's worth it. I wouldn't pay more than that. I don't know what this sells for. The person that sent me this, their website just has clothes on it now, so I have no idea what's up with that. Um, so I don't know, maybe they have a, if they have it for a dirt cheap price and you just want the drone, take it. Don't buy this for the ground portions. They're just not good enough. If you got a little kid that might want to get into a drone, but it can start out with these cars and they're not going to be very picky and you get it dirt cheap, then I'd say it's worth it. Like I said, no, no more than $30 I would pay for this whole kit. All right, guys, that wraps up the ground review portions of the HHD H3, 3, and 1. If you want to see the drone, go check out that video. I broke this up into two parts and an unboxing. It's so actually three videos. So we didn't have a massively long video because you don't usually have to review something that has multiple components. So go check out the drone review video if you need to know how the drone flies because it's by far the best part of this kit. All right, guys, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and you know, hit the bell so you know when I upload a video, all that good stuff. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.